Plato's Republic deals with one of the most important moral questions that humanity is faced with. How would you act if no one is watching? Religions have been created as a way to maintain morality within society. The central point of most theologies being God is always watching. The idea is that one must always act morally because he is either being watched or judged by a greater power. The issue brought up in the Ring of Gyges is especially pertinent to our secularized society. If a person does not believe that they are always being watched, then what would incite them to act normally? Plato's parable gives us insight on this intriguing question. He tells us the story of a shepherd working under a ruler. One day, an earthquake and storm erupted, causing a chasm in the earth. Gyges went into the chasm and found a bronze horse with a corpse inside. The corpse possessed a golden ring, which he stole. He then wore the ring and realized that when he turned on the turned the ring on his fingers, he became invisible. Once he learned the power of this ring, he used it to seduce the king's wife, kill the king, and eventually become the ruler. Gyges used the power that was granted to him unjustly, and used it as a tool of manipulation. Plato uses this story as a way of teaching us about his philosophy. He believes that men only act justly and morally because they fear the punishment. Furthermore, if that fear is absent, then morality would no longer be relevant. In the following video, we will be interviewing 10 people, each possessing different moral standards and abiding to different ethical theories. The goal of this interview is to see whether people hold the same ideals as Plato. We will ask the interviewers, interviewees how they would act if they are possessed by the Ring of Gyges. From the story you heard about the Ring of Gyges, if you had the ring, what would be the first thing you would do? Um, I think I'd rob a bank and give back to the poor people of Montreal. Okay, and uh, why would you do that? Why would that be like the first thing you do with the with the ring? Because I feel like uh, the rich people of Canada don't necessarily, they're actually, they're robbing from the poor. They don't treat them right. And uh, unequal, distri un <laughs> unequal distribution of wealth. Yeah, so I feel like uh, the poor people deserve some money and not, it sh there should be less of a gap. So you're saying you're, you're going to use your power that you got from the ring to sort of balance the scales? Yeah. Okay, very something nice. Something like that. Yeah, all right, sounds good. Thanks, Derek. If there was one moral theory from the ones we described to you, which one would you say represents you the best? Uh, virtue ethics. Okay, and um, with that in mind, if you had the ring of Gyges, what would you do? I would use my invisibility to stop crime. Okay, and like, what, what type of crime? Like, like give an example. Just give an example. Any example. Uh, like robberies. Okay, and like what kind of what kind of virtues do you think that would show? Bravery, uh, courage, and compassion. So you're saying if no one was watching and if no one was there to judge you, you would still do the right thing. Yeah. All right. Great. Nice. Thank you. So if you had to describe your views on morality in a, a couple words or a couple sentences, what would you say? No, I guess the simplest way would be do unto others as they would do unto you. So. You have to follow sort of Judeo-Christian principles and be righteous and be good and do what benefits others. And by doing what benefits others, you often benefit yourself because it gives me great satisfaction to help others. Okay, and um, with that in mind, from uh, the story, Plato's story of the Ring of Gyges, if you were given a ring that allows you to be invisible, how would you use it? It's an in interesting question. I, I'd, uh, I'd like to say I'd like to do only things that are good. But I know there's always a tendency and there's always a struggle between all of us to do good and evil. The specifics of what I would do. I, if I saw people who were suffering or disadvantaged, I try and somehow use my powers to give all of us to do good and evil. The specifics of what I would do. I, if I saw people who were suffering or disadvantaged, I try and somehow use my powers to give them uh, better opportunities and better chances to succeed. So, um, and how do you think that fits with, uh, with like the description of morality that you, that, you, uh, that you gave earlier? It fits perfectly well. I like to think that my goal is to benefit others. My goal is to make the lives of others better. And so I think it fits perfectly well. I think by having any power, whether it's this power or any other, if you have a power, you should use it for good. So on the question of accountability, whether someone is watching or not, you would act the same way with regards to moral decisions? Yeah, I think we all have to be the judges of ourselves. It doesn't depend on how others think about you. You have to be able to determine how you think of yourself. So you create, create your own morality. Yeah. 
my goal is to benefit others. My goal is to make the lives of others better. And so I think it fits perfectly well, I think, by having any power, whether it's this power or any other. If you have a power, you should use it for good. So on the question of accountability, whether someone is watching or not, you would act the same way with regards to moral decisions? Yeah, I think we all have to be the judges of ourselves. It doesn't depend on how others think about you. You have to be able to determine how you think of yourself. So you That's create create your own morality? You create, you, you live within a moral system and you abide by the rules of that system. So it's not, hopefully not everybody is abiding by their own individual morality, but there's sort of a collective idea that everybody follows the same set of rules and that you're just one of those people who are following those rules, going back to the idea of Judeo-Christian morality. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Okay. So if you had to describe your vision of morality in just a couple sentences, what would you say? I would say it's utilitarian with the caveat that you and your family and friends come first. Okay, so utilitarian with, with, uh, with an imposed condition on uh, people based off their importance to you. So in a situation where you have the ring that grants you invisibility and based off of your vision of morality, um, what, would you, what would you do with the ring? I would probably conduct corporate spying. In this way, I could see which companies were doing bad things, short the stock, and make money for my family and I, while benefiting the community at large. Okay, great. And um, so, so in that way, it fits like your utilitarian belief. All right, perfect. Thank you. So, if you had to describe um, what your beliefs, what your moral beliefs are, what would you say? Well, I believe in deontology, and I went to law school, and I really think that laws are there for a reason, and they should be followed. So, like, regardless of what circumstance you're in. Uh, like these laws have to be followed at, by, by every point and every detail? Of course, they're there for a reason, and if you don't follow them, everything else around you is going to crumble. So whether you're in a good or bad situation, if you constantly follow the law, you'll end up in a good position. All right, so then with that in mind, um, what would you say uh, you would do if you were given the ring of Gaijus that grants you invisibility? What would I do with it? I don't know, probably some pretty cool stuff, but I wouldn't break the rules if ever I was alone or anything, because... I think it would create imbalance for everyone else following the rules who doesn't have the ring. So if there's no accountability and you won't be you won't be looked at differently, there's no fear of punishment, you would act in the same exact way that you're currently acting? Well, yeah, because someone else is going to pay for it, right? Okay, all right, that's a good way to think about it. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. So uh, based off the story of the Ring of Gyges, um what would you say is, is your main uh, moral principle, or your main moral theory that you abide to the most? Um... After reading that story, I'd have to say that I'm effectively an ethical egoist. So, like, what would that mean? What does that make you? That means that uh, if if someone were to give me this ring that granted me invisibility, I'd probably go around doing whatever would give would be the best for me. I would steal the money that I need. I would go after the people that I want to take down. Whatever brings me glory, I will do it. So, what you're saying is... Um, the main thing stopping you from only doing things that benefit yourself is fear of punishment. Yeah, exactly. I think that if you don't get caught, you can do whatever you want. And if that ring means I can get caught, then I'm going to do whatever I want. Okay, so then overall, um, you agree with Plato's statement saying that the only thing that's really stopping people from acting immorally is um, the fear that they'll get caught and the fear of punishment. Absolutely. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. So, um, like we asked other people, just describe your view on morality in uh, just a couple sentences. <laughs> Okay, my view of morality. Um, the way I am and the way I live my life is the way I'd like, I'd like to treat everybody the way that I would like to be treated myself. And uh, I'd like to do things that, other pe that to other people the way I, I'd like them done to myself. Um, Immanuel Kant's theory of deontology says that if someone has a duty to fulfill, um, that regardless of what they believe, they have to fulfill that duty because it's a, it's an obligation. Do you, uh, would, you, would you describe your view on morality in that way also? I feel that I do what's right, that I feel is right. So if you had to relate uh, your view on morality to uh, your profession, what would, it, uh, what would you say? Okay, so I'm trauma director at the Montreal Children's Hospital, and I work with children and teens who've had traumatic injuries. An important part of what I do is also looking at the type of injuries we see and figure out ways to prevent them in a proactive way so that it, 
we can save the lives of many kids and prevent tragedies in many families and different communities. Uh, so what we really try to do is to try to find ways to educate and to increase awareness and help people make smart choices. And sometimes it requires advocacy, sometimes it requires um, pushing for legislation, and other times it requires uh, just sharing our knowledge uh, in so the best way possible. If you, if you had the Ring of Gaijus and you were given this power, um, in what way would you act? What, what moral standard would you, uh, would you live up to? I would try to implement changes that would save people's lives and benefit large groups of people. So would you say that is a utilitarian view and that it, uh, you would act in a way that causes the greatest good? I think so. I think that's the way I would best describe it and I'd best describe a lot of the work that I do and the things that I do is to try to, 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 to affect change that's going to benefit many people in a positive and constructive manner. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. As seen by the results of our poll, most people are not in agreement with Plato's ideals of human nature. Rather than fearing punishment, it appears as though most people, with the exception of Gabriel, hold themselves to a moral standard that it was independent of social perceptions. Most people possessing the ring stated that they would still act according to their own code of morality. They may use to break the law with the moral end in mind, such as giving to the poor or benefiting their own family. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our video. We hope you gained some knowledge from it.